Starting tomorrow, Michigan gun laws signed last year will be going into effect. The laws were passed by the Democratic led Democratic led legislature and signed by Governor Whitmer to combat gun violence in the state. TV6's Kate Minus joins us to explain how the private sale of firearms will be affected. Cody, Grace, gun owners in Michigan will see a tightening in regulations starting tomorrow. In part one of this in-depth look, I speak to law enforcement to see what buyers and vendors need to do. If you are considering buying a firearm at a gun show, a new law signed last April will add more steps to that process. Mainly, a background check and a license to purchase will now be required for all firearms, including rifles and shotguns, during private sales like gun shows. A concealed pistol license can take the place of the license to purchase. But Nagani Rotting Gun Club board member Robin Turner says there's still confusion about private transactions between individual sellers at their own homes. I have heard several different theories about what is the appropriate course of action for an individual wanting to sell one of his personal firearms to somebody else. Now, most cases, it is appears that it's going to have to go through an FFL license holder. The Michigan State Police Firearms Records Unit says there are extra steps if a buyer does not have a CPL and wants to purchase from a private seller. The buyer must now go through a background check and get a license to purchase from a licensing authority. The seller must complete a license to purchase and a firearms sales record, then provide a copy to the purchaser. If the buyer has a CPL, the license to purchase is not required. Unless the firearm is a pistol, then a copy of the license and a sale record must be submitted by the seller to their police department or sheriff's office within 10 days. With these new laws, federal firearms license holders will still need to conduct background checks for all buyers unless a license to purchase has been provided. In addition, the seller must still complete the license to purchase and firearms sales record with the firearms information and provide a copy to the purchaser. This law will put new responsibilities on the seller. If the firearm is a pistol, a copy of the license and the sale record must be submitted by the seller to their police department or sheriff's office within 10 days. Marquette County Under Sheriff Daniel Willie expects to see more people stopping by the sheriff's office to get a license to purchase. He says this process is nothing new. I think it's going to be manageable. Um, I don't think it's going to be a problem. You know, we've, for the, for the state of Michigan, uh, we've had the process for a long time before they changed some of the laws where you had to come in and get the permit to purchase anyway. So we, you know, we're used to doing that type of thing. Willie says if you're not sure what to do, the sheriff's office is available. The people that work in the front office deal with this all of the time and we will find the answer out uh, for you, how you can legally obtain the gun and get it put in your name. This law, along with safe storage and extreme risk protection orders, will be going into effect tomorrow. As well as tomorrow here on your TV6 Early News, I will also be speaking with the Marquette County Courts about these extreme risk protection orders and how the court intends to keep the rights of gun owners and the community safe. Back to you guys.